Welcome into this edition of Inside Bronkbuster Athletics. I'm Mike Pilosoff, pleased to be joined this week as we shift gears to women's basketball and Taylor Lawhorn, who's actually a transfer from Morgan State. So we appreciate you coming on the show. No problem. I appreciate you letting me be here. Absolutely. You know, it's funny because when you look at your background and your information, you grew up in New York, mm -hmm. which I grew up in New York. My dad was a cab driver there for like 20 years. So you grew up on Long Island, yes. which... I guess the movies and shows portray Long Island as one of the richer places, like the Gold Coast or whatever they call yes. it. But what was it like growing up in, in Long Island? Well, um, in Long Island, there's a north side and a south side. So I live on the north side, which is the lesser part. The south side is more like the high end, more the richer people live over there, bigger houses. And that's where my high school is. But living there was always pretty cool. Everybody knows each other. Um, everybody grew up in the same area, so I pretty much grew up with every all the kids on my neighborhood. We all grew up together. We went to school together, all that. Dad owns a construction business. Yes. Did he make you work for the uh, construction business? I mean, sometimes he would bring me on the job, but he didn't really make us do too much. You had an interesting path in high school because you started at one high school mm -hmm. and then you transferred to a private school yes. and then you went back to a public school. So. Was that a challenge? If so, how much? And what did that teach you about yourself? When I decided to transfer, I was going into my sophomore year in high school. So, you know, I was in one district my whole school career. So I've never been the new kid. So going and transferring to a new school it was kind of difficult, but I had my twin sister with me. So it wasn't too terrible. But yeah, it was kind of tough getting used to it. But we just ended up transferring again once we were going into our senior year. You mentioned the twin sister. Yes. I couldn't imagine what that would be like because I've, I've heard stories and, and we've done a lot of football games where twins had changed places in classes or anything like that. What was it like growing up with a, with a twin? Oh, it's, it's really cool. Like we used to um, we used to switch all the time, but it was to the point where our teachers could tell us apart. So they knew when we would switch and um, we're fraternal twins, though. We look alike, but we're fraternal twins. So most of the time you can tell us apart. You won a couple of league titles in high school. You were a scholar athlete. If you look back on your prep career, what are maybe some of the things that you're most proud of? Definitely my academic side. I really take pride in um, getting good grades and making sure I get those accolades. Um, I was in the National Language Honor Society when I graduated. And I don't know, I just, I really take pride in like getting those high scores. You are a member of the World Language Honor Society. First, what is that and how did you become a member of that? I started taking Spanish classes when I was about seventh or eighth grade and just learning it and processing all like the language and everything. I decided to apply and I just needed to write an essay in Spanish and just describing myself and why I deserve to be in the in the Honor Society and I just, I got approved and I was able to get my medal and everything. You transferred from Oregon State. It's a D1 school. Why did you leave? Um, I really did love the school, but I feel like it just wasn't a great fit for me with my coaches and everything. So I thought it would be the best decision to just leave. I was reading uh, um, some background on you regarding I wouldn't even call it an incident. Something happened while you were at, at Morgan State where you and your friends were out shopping and you had somebody in the store that was following you because of the school that you went to. With everything that's going on right now, with the social unrest across the country, how much has that affected you and how much has that affected your family? Um, you know, it, it, it affects us a lot because, you know, when you're just in the store trying to pick some things up and you have no intention of stealing anything, you're just in there with a few friends and just just looking around and you know someone follows you and just by the way you look they just assume that you're going to steal something it takes it takes a lot out of you but like unfortunately it's just a normal thing today coach scales who you know before he took this job i was adamant that we needed to hire antoine scales his success that he had at wichita south and then even what he did revitalizing colby what was your first interaction with him like um, it was actually pretty cool. I, I remember thinking to myself that he was really easy to talk to, because not every college coach is, but from the beginning, he was really easy to talk to. I could ask him any question, and he was just open to answering anything. How did you get in contact with him? What was the first interaction? Well, I, when I first left Morgan State, I decided to contact my high school coach, and she was posting my high school highlights, and 
he actually contacted her and then she gave me his number so we could speak. A lot of people come the junior college route and they kind of get hit with reality and say, well, this isn't Morgan State, this isn't North Carolina, this isn't Duke, it's, it's junior college. So mm -hmm. first impression of Garden City was what? It kind of looks like home, like um, my dorm, how everything is set up, it kind of looks like how it does back home. So that was a plus side, but it's just, it's different because, you know, not everything is handed to you. You got to do your own stuff because, you know, in D1, they give you a lot of things. They buy you food. They take care of most of the things. So coming here is just a lot different. I got to take care of a lot of things myself. What are you hoping to accomplish by going the junior college route? Um, I'm definitely, I definitely want to get some accolades, some awards, maybe break a record or two and just go back to D1. The fact that you were at a D1 school and now you're here, what kind of experience can you share with your teammates about that and how does that help them? The best advice I could give is just work hard. Yeah, you want to be friends with your teammates and stuff, but you got to work harder than everybody else because at the end of the day, it's a business. And if you're not producing, then they're going to let you go. Lastly, what have people told you about this conference specifically, the Jayhawk Conference? That is, um, it's a really good conference that um, I'm going to have good competition, so just work hard and I'll do well. In addition to that, and I've asked everybody that's come on this show the same question about COVID and how it's affected, and I, and I look at it more from a workout standpoint. We've had a volleyball player on who they shut down all the workouts. She couldn't work out at all. We've had other sports that have done the same thing. How did that affect you? And, and also because you were transferring, it wasn't like you were already, already native from here. Mm -hmm. So how much did the, the pandemic and everything else affect you personally and from a workout standpoint? Well, personally, you know, New York was one of the hot spots, so it was kind of tough, especially with trying to work out and stuff. But um, I actually, my trainer lives a couple blocks from me, so I would walk to his house and he has a full court in his backyard. Um, his name is Bert and he's the, one of the greatest guys ever. I love working out with him. And I would just go about three times a day and just go work out and do as much as I can. Well, we're glad you're here. Uh, I know it was a, a long journey. We're glad you're here, and we appreciate you coming on the show. No problem. Thank you.